Whole Systems Approach to Eco Living. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 188. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. Welcome to our weekly progress update number 188, October 30th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the individuality lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of individuality is now 75% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of the written part of the individuality lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the personal growth lesson plan, bringing it to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This last week, the core team created an action plan and images for our transition kitchen page. You can see images of that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued with layers of revisions for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. This week's focus was refining these two Straw Bale Village Pod 2 layouts and then updating the book and website after final revisions and additions to these renders of the open source chimney, the kitchen, the bathroom exterior, the gym, outdoor patio area, the barbecue area, and the outdoor fire pit. Shilsey Augustine, architect, also continued her fourth week of helping us update and merge all our Earthbag Village files. This week's focus was updates and two additional drawings to the slider design you see here. This design will eliminate the need for using barbed wire in the designs. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, continued with his third week of managing the vermiculture bathroom development. This week's focus was finalizing this work breakdown structure for the complete project. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 41 of his work continuing to work on external details and providing this final render of the city center view looking northeast and these test renders leading up to that final render and including a new central perspective. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 14th week helping evolve the compressed earth block village pod four. This week's focus was more updates to the living space layouts, 
designing and improving the appearance of the stairways in Revit 3D, and adding more details to the residences. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with 3D earthblock outdoor furniture construction for the compressed earthblock village pod 4. What you see here is his ninth week of this work that is now focusing on texture selection. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earthblock village external elements. What you see here is her fourth week of work, continuing to develop the landscape details, including a new play area, the areas in front of the south residences and social spaces, plus the north labyrinth. Yi Cheng Ho, interior designer, also finished her sixth week of helping with the shipping container village, Pod 5 renders for the living units. These renders show how we'll open source how to convert this unit design from the complete village into these two bedroom designs for do-it-yourself home construction by individuals and families. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village, Pod 7. What you see here is his fourth week of this work focusing on the new design for the standalone bathroom and shower structure. This week's updates included adding seating details, switching the showers to the third floor, adding an ADA bathroom there, and adding in the elevator. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is week 12 of this work that continued updating all the page colors to match the new color palette. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render creation for the Duplical City Center. This included creating this final render of the root cellar storage area, this final render of the sunrise rooftop patio, and these two work-in-progress renders of the central pool area. Ira Sue, industrial designer, also continued her work on the recycled pipe shelving for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round 23 of her work, where she added people to the render here and started creating what is needed for the assembly instructions as seen here. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Chu Nani, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center column placement and calculations. This week's work focused on researching the specifics for the radiant floor heating and surfacing. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelors of architecture, also helped create our third generation wall section detail drawings. You can see the outline here showing what code considers roof versus wall for a dome and the specifics of where we are so far in the wall design details. Jing Shifeng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her eighth week of behind-the-scenes research into this area. This week's focus was creating the outline for the complete report and continuing with model calculations. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Ashwin Patil, web developer, completed his fourth week of helping with the new site design details. This week's focus was migrating the new search tool to our active site, testing it, and getting it working, and then adding more highest good food links and icons as seen here. One community is using a whole systems approach to eco living. What this means is we are creating an evolution of sustainability that combines physical sustainability, in which the foundations of which are food, energy, and housing, with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, fulfilled living practices, true earth stewardship, as well as highest good economics. To create a whole systems approach to eco-living that we believe will demonstrate a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And our idea is that if we can demonstrate that, and if we can make it easy enough and affordable enough, then the idea will spread on its own. 
So we're creating everything that we're doing as open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living, covering all of those elements and purpose specifically to create complete eco demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and because they're easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, self-replicating. Designed specifically to be self-replicating. We call these solution models purpose to create additional solution creating models. And our idea is that by open sourcing and free sharing all of the components so that they can be implemented as either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub, that we will evolve the complete sustainable or sustainability industry to be an open source industry. We'll build the foundations necessary so that it supports and evolves and improves the entire sustainability industry and starts moving the whole industry in that direction so that this whole system's approach to eco living essentially encompasses an entire industry and starts bringing more and more people into the fold by demonstrating the benefits and the values of open source creation and sustainability. Ultimately, the goal is to reach that tipping point of mainstream participation so that we can positively and permanently impact the lives of everyone on the planet to truly create a sustainable civilization through this whole systems approach and it's a whole systems approach because we see all of the current challenges that our civilization is facing as not only interrelated but as interdependent and so we are addressing them all comprehensively and the whole systems approach is to look at the foundations of these things, of starvation, of lack, of education quality, of social injustice, of war, of theft, of lack of energy infrastructure. How can we address all of those things simultaneously? And we think that the model that can do that is sustainable teacher demonstration hubs designed to build additional open source, free shared, self-sufficient, self-sustainable, self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs too. Hubs designed to be to demonstrate something that people want and to teach others how to do it too and to open source and free share everything that you do as a global collaboration demonstrating the value of cooperation and collaboration over competition and changing the way that people look at living globally. Inviting anybody who wants to, to participate. And this is what we're doing. So if you too possess the consciousness for the highest good of all, if you believe that now is the time, if you'd like to participate in something, this grand adventure in being a part of the architects of the next, next big chapter in human history, we invite you to join us. We are an all volunteer, unpaid staff creating this because we want to live this way, because we believe that it's possible, and because we possess the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that believe that it makes sense to create for the good of humanity, not because we know exactly what that is, but because we know that we're capable of doing the absolute best that we can, and we will continue to adapt and evolve and grow our idea of what the highest good is as more information comes in. But the point is, is that we're dedicated to doing our best and thinking globally and everything that is that we're doing, open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing, creating these tools, tutorials, and resources for the world with that consciousness, with that concept, with that idea of what is the best for everyone. What is it that we can do that will benefit the most people possible and do the most good in the world possible? And so you're invited to join us. If it sounds fun to you, if it sounds interesting, you get involved. We've got lots of different ways to do that. Uh, from the Pioneer team, which will be moving to the property and building everything that is one community, to just volunteering as a consultant behind the scenes, helping out, uh, contributing your, and volunteering your time to help us with all the different components that we're developing, uh, or just through sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks, about 20 of them, the big ones, of course, being LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, Facebook, to make it as easy as possible for people to get our information, to share our information, and to get it in the hands of as many people as possible because to reach that tipping point of participation means that people have to know what it is that we're doing. So sharing our information, liking our information, just putting a like on this YouTube video is actually a really big step in the right direction. It helps us out a lot. And so thank you for that. Of course, people ask, well, what is the biggest thing that I can do to help one community? Well, we're still seeking large-scale funding 
to get the property off the market that we've identified and been focusing on for the last six years. It took us two years to find that property. It's ideal for our global goals and spreading our message and inviting ultimately, eventually, hundreds of thousands of people to visit one community, to experience one community, to come see what a whole systems approach to eco living looks like. And if they like the whole ecosystem, or sorry, the whole whole system approach to eco living, or just one little component of eco living, then they can take that and implement it in their own lives in whatever way works best for them, because everything is open source and free sharing. And so we've identified the property for ultimately sharing everything that we're doing from day one before we've built it all. We'll be able to invite people to come out and experience the property and be a part of the creation process, but we still don't own that property. So if you or somebody you know has access to the resources to help us out with that, to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization to our, or to invest in one community, uh, if you like the idea of a whole system approach to eco living and want to support that, we'd love to talk to anybody that would like to get involved in the funding side of it. Of course, we also like to say thanks for little donations, you know, the $5 donations, $10 donations, $20 donations. All those things help us cover our operational expenses, which, as I've already said, we're all unpaid volunteers. So none of those go to anybody's paycheck. All of those go to web expenses and m pretty much everything associated with running a uh, global, uh, globally accessible and massive website like we have. And so uh, thank you for those small donations. They make a big difference. They actually really help us. And uh, I also like to say, of course, thanks for just watching to the end. Thank you for the emails we get. Thank you for the likes we get. Thank you for all the support, the comments and everything that we get. All that stuff gets implemented and integrated into the bigger picture of what it is that we're creating because our whole systems approach to eco living includes a whole systems approach to everything that we're developing. So if somebody sends us an email with a suggestion, we read that and if there's a way to integrate that and make our website better, we do that. If people have ideas, they say, hey, you should do this differently, then we contact those individuals and say, well, how would you, would you like to help? You know, what's your expertise? How can we integrate that in? We're constantly using this whole systems approach to make everything better. So the comments that we get, the likes that we get, and specifically the emails and comments really, really help. And we like to say thanks. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. If you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and everything that we're creating related to everything that's been talked about in this video and everything else, visit our, visit our written blog or visit our website. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, if you'd like to be uh, notified with an email, uh, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, last but not least, which I like to see every single time at the end of one of these at the end of these videos. Thanks for following the progress. And until next week, we will of course keep on keeping on. Thank you.